Today we're gonna to talk about how throughput can drive ROI for your automated system. What is throughput? Throughput is the ability to output a certain amount of product from a system. Now, for different manufacturing processes, this might be one full complete product, it might be sub-assemblies of a completed product, and you have multiple sub-assemblies that go together to create the final product. However, the number one objective for all manufacturers is that final product and getting that final product out the door. So let's say sales are booming, and you're selling 10 times the amount of product that you were selling last year. AKA, you have a demand to have 10 times the amount of throughput. Well, let's say the current employees that you have were at pretty much a full work capacity. They maybe even were working overtime and weekends to accomplish that current amount of throughput that was required last year. Now, you have two different options here. You can either hire 10 times the amount of employees or you could develop some automated system or go to some automation supplier to develop you an automated system. Now, as a lot of manufacturers know, it's extremely complicated to get more employees in the door. Everybody's kind of struggling with holding and maintaining and acquiring new employees. So 10Xing the number of employees that's required to output the number of product or have the amount of throughput that you need for a product it's almost impossible to entirely do that through the acquisition of new employees. And sometimes this is the strategy and sometimes manufacturers go and build new facilities and new locations just to ensure that they have the ability to hire more new employees. But let's say for instance, we could build an automated system and that automated system could do 10 times the amount of throughput as the current employees that you have. Now this automated system has given you the ability to throughput 10 times the amount, right? So let's take into consideration how much you are currently paying for the number of employees you have on staff. And let's say for the total of the 10 number of employees, you're paying roughly 500,000 a year. Now, let's say for instance, the automated pieces of equipment comes in at $4 million to build this piece of automated equipment. Now, if you just take the consideration of the number of employees you have currently, the automated system will pay off in, let's say, eight years. And for 99.9% .9 of manufacturers out there or any investor out there, this is not gonna work out. It's way too long of an ROI time frame for anybody to wanna take on that type of investment. But whenever you take the consideration of this machine can do 10 times the amount of throughput than your current existing number of employees can do, it has a huge advantage for ROI and the ROI can be calculated much more quickly. 